Hi guys, this is Hope from Cedaholic Gardens. And what I'm showing you is all those gorgeous beds, all covered up with plastic. You see, my hoops don't have any structure to them yet, but that's something we're about to fix. He's going to uncover. I'll show you what we got. And that one's uncovered temporarily. He's going to get some hoops over there. And get them covered. This is where that giant tomato was, right here. And the squash plant is still here because I think it's got two more squash left on it. We harvested all the spaghetti squash and I've got a couple of radishes still in the ground. I have my uh, uh, red bean sorrel still in the ground and one pepper plant. Got a couple tomatoes lying about, some radishes going to seed and some borage. And we moved all the compost on top of the compost pile for fall. And I put in some seeds over there. And you're going to see this in a little bit once everything is hooped up and covered again with plastic. And if there's anything ripe, I will harvest it. I'm actually going to walk you over to the car and show you some things that we actually harvested. Because I have some, don't close that, I need my bag of produce. Um, I'm going to show you my next car, but... You can see these gorgeous carrots. These are from the bed at the community garden. Tomatoes in there. And some zinnia seeds. And some cherry tomatoes. This is just a plastic bag that I had on hand. But you can see these carrots, except for this little one, are gorgeous. So those are supper tonight. So I just wanted to share what we got going on. That's one of the structural support of those hoops. And I got you guys with these Maybe you want to see the before and after, and then once he's done, I'll take you back around right before he covers it up. So this is me signing off and hoping that your gardens were a um, blessing to you this season, and hopefully they were bountiful as well. Until next time, goodbye.